This is a 32 year old man complaining of pain and impingement in the left hip especially starting to rise a stair or standing from a sitting position. His history is not significant except for a small twist to the hip joint while playing football. The x-ray shows osteophyte formation at the superior portion of the femoral head and the lateral edge of the superior acetabulum. There is no loss of joint space and it was not deemed necessary to undergo a MRI or other investigation. He was diagnosed to have a femoroestabular impingement from osteophyte formation due to capsular sprain. Arthroscopy was performed in a supine position on fracture table with the hip distracted and flexed to 15 degree. The primary viewing portal is the antero superior portal and the instrument portal is the antero medial portal. Here the hip joint is being viewed from the antero superior portal and an antero medial portal brings, brings in the half pipe. We following the half pipe comes in my banana knife which cuts the anterior capsule and creates an area big enough for my instruments to come in. The first instrument that comes in is the shaver which takes off debris and part of the damaged labrum improves the visualization space in the hip joint. What we immediately can visualize after debridement of the damaged labrum is there is a significant amount of damage in the acetabular and the femoral margins. The acetabular superior cartilage has been peel off delaminated and there is a grade 4 damage to a large area of the acetabulum and the femoral head cartilage. These are precursors to osteoarthritis of the hip. The second instrument which comes in is the burr which takes off loose pieces of cartilage from the femoral head and from the acetabular labrum along with debriding the osteophytes in the superior portion of the femoral head. After having achieved adequate debridement, we re-visualize under the image intensifier to see whether we have taken off enough amount of osteophyte and bone or not to allow for smooth gliding of the hip joint. Next, portals are changed so that we start looking from the anteromedial portal whereas the instrument comes in from the anterolateral portal. Herein, the rest of the osteophytes and protruding parts of bones are removed and leaving behind a smooth rounded tennis ball shaped femoral head. At every step the joint has to be seen under C-arm fluoroscopic control to see whether we have achieved adequate amount of reshaping of the acetabular margin and the femoral head to allow for a smooth gliding. This does leave back significant areas of raw bone which cover up with fibrocartilaginous tissue over time.